Welcome back. We have big things happening here. We're with the Huge. one and only Jake Jobs, <laughs> American Furniture Warehouse. And this is Herbie, the tiger, right? This is Herbie? That's right. Yeah. Last year it was Peachy. We have Herbie this year, though. He's stepping in. So, Peach Festival, you play a big role in this. Oh, yeah. We, we, support, it, we support it every year, big time, yeah. It's, it, we're really glad to see it come around again. You know, my employees can't wait for the Peach Festival. You know, you know why? Because why these peaches are amazing? I, I buy 200 boxes of what? peaches and give them to all my employees. Oh, 200 they keep asking boxes? Me, when, when are the peaches ready? Are they ready? Are we ready? Because they love them. Oh, they just love goodness. the peaches. Everybody wow. loves the peaches. Yeah, they're amazing, yeah. right? Hey, hey, you've had them. I've had so many. I just stopped back at a stand the other day. Ha -ha. In fact, had to restock. <laughs> so, but tonight, it all kicks off tonight, yes, and right. you're a pretty big deal here. Yeah, yeah. Why don't you tell us what you are doing tonight? Okay. Well, tonight is a, you get you get free peaches with vanilla ice cream. Now, I don't think there's anything better than that. I agree. Oh, oh my so goodness. So that's that's tonight. Tonight, yeah. So they have the street dance. I get up and play my guitar with the yeah. band. So we have a great street dance and free peaches and ice cream. It's a great night. It's going to be a nice weather, too, I understand. Yes, so, it yeah. is. It'll be great for that. You know, wow, what a thing to do. Go have some peach ice cream. Have you sing and dance? This is an amazing yeah. event that's going to kick off the Palisade Peach Festival. Oh, yeah, about six o'clock, yeah. And then, how yeah. about right after the street dance and all that? What about the Peach Queen? Oh yeah, get to crown the Peach Queen. Yeah, <laughs> and, and and they love that. You know, that's that's a big deal for them to to, to be, get in the uh, be part of that uh, parade and part of the being the queen. It's, mm -hmm. a, it's a big right. deal. It's a big deal. It is. I mean, you had to explain it to me last year. I told you I'm from New York. I've never experienced anything like this. So you're going to have to tell me again, though, because it's still, I can't really register how awesome a huge peach festival is in, like, your town. How do you get to be a peach queen? <laughs> <laughs> well, you just have to apply, mm -hmm. you know, of course. And, and it's a contest, you know, and they have uh, judges, and then they decide which one is going to be the queen. Wow, and then you get to crown her. Get the crown, awesome. yeah, yeah. That's got to, and you've been doing this for a while. Talk yeah, about, yeah. like, how much, how rewarding of an experience it's been. Well, well the, the, I think the Palisade uh, uh, Festival, but also the Peaches, a real economy, good for the economy of the Grand Valley. You know, it's, it's good. It's good. I think it's one of the best things. And the nice thing about it, it goes on every year. You know, it's something that's good. A lot of things that happen come and go, but the, the peaches are going to be here forever. <laughs> and the people are going to love the peaches forever. And it just gets bitter, bigger and better every year. And they're delicious, not to mention. They're yeah. delicious. Yeah. And it's great. It. It's good for the economy. It's it very is. Good. You're very yeah. right about that. Yeah. And it's also good for our stomachs as well. That's yes. right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> People love the peaches. They really do. And they are the best. I, I, I've eaten Georgia peaches and other peaches, but there's nothing like the Palisade peaches. It's that very true. is a solid endorsement right there. So if you haven't, for some reason, tried these, Jake Jabs is telling you you need to do it. They're the best he's ever had. Yeah. I mean, there that's. Don't get any better than that. It really doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> I also just realized we didn't explain to anybody why there's a giant tiger here. Yes. So, for all of you that are new to yes. Colorado, your yes. commercials yeah. back in the day, live tigers. Yeah. What was that like? <laughs> <laughs> that was just kind of besides well, the point, but. Well, when I first started American First Wear, it was 1975. By the way, this is our 44th anniversary. So, uh, you know, you needed something to attract people. You know, we're a startup, a startup company. And so uh, I have $3, and, and uh, I bought my puppy for Christmas, and they put puppy on TV, and right away people start calling us, offering us their animals petting. and those outfit filming with exotic animals and he brought them down and said Jake you use the exotic animals on TV and at first I didn't see it I said no. but then my secretary always wanted to pet a baby tiger so he uh, brought down a baby tiger for her to pet and here's all the employees gathered around to pet the baby tiger so it's a lot of interest in the exotic animals so we started using the exotic animals and people just like the animals and I think they were watching our commercials to see Hoping maybe the tiger would bite me or whatever, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, they've started using exotic animals. We used a lot of different exotic animals, so it became a trademark with mm -hmm. us for years. Uh, right now, uh, this, our sources kind of died out, and we're not using them. But for years, it was good. It was it was a way for a new startup business to uh, get people to watch your commercials. And Jake's going to be bringing live tigers to the Peach Fest. No, I'm kidding. But, no. there, is, <laughs> but there is Jake's Jungle yes, for kids. Yes, what is yes, that? Yeah, yeah. Well, we have a coloring contest. 
with the kids. And by the way, the kids love that coloring contest. You know, it's, it's exciting for them, and we have winners for that. And so we have a, a, a coloring contest. Have the, the the tiger world we call it down there, where they can come in and pet the tigers. <laughs> so Thank anyway, you. the kids love it. It's a great uh, thing, and it's nice to have something for the kids to do at the festival too. Awesome. So all that kicks off tonight. That's going to run through the entire weekend. We're going to have all of the specific information on westernslopenow.com. And hopefully when we come back, we're going to come back after the break. But maybe at the end of the show, Jake's going to sing us out. I don't know. You'll have to stick around and find out. <laughs> all right. All right. We have a giant tiger here. We, we have do. the man, the myth, the legend. Jake Jabs here. Absolutely. Talking about the Peach Festival that's going on. What time do you gates open this Six weekend? Six o'clock tonight. And you get free peaches with vanilla mm. ice cream. Yes. I mean, I don't, I don't think there's anything <laughs> better than that, is there? No. I don't think so. I don't think so. Only if you have a tiger with you. Palisade. Palisade peaches. Palisade peaches. That is the absolute best cream. of yeah, the yeah, best. Yeah, yeah. It they, really is. They are the best peaches. Now I want to stay up late. I know. I do too. You want to go? We'll go. Sure. Okay. Why not? We'll just be really tired, guys, if you're watching tomorrow. But that's all right. <laughs> So, <laughs> special treat now, ahead of him crowning the Peach Queen this evening, he's going to sing us a little song here. Okay. Yeah, there's a song out there called Colorado. It's a real Haggard song, and this should be the state song, because not everybody knows Columbine, the state song, so this should be it. Okay, here we go. There's a place where Mother Nature's got it all together. She knows just when to make the wildflower bloom, and she always seems to know just what she's doing, and the Lord saw fit to give her elbow room. Here we go. Have you ever been down to Colorado? I spend a lot of time there in my mind and if God doesn't live in Colorado I'll bet that's where he spends most of his time. Nice. <laughs> Thank you.